We in the entertainment business have every cause to be grateful to the backroom boys of the BBC, especially those unsung heroes of the wardrobe and makeup department. <laughs> and uh, recently, I was appearing on BBC television, and before I went on, I popped into the wardrobe department. Hello, anybody there? Oh, hello, I'm Julian, and this is my friend Sandy. <laughs> yes, sure. You see, look, it's crocheted on our smock. <laughs> the actual name, you see. Are you one of the Daleks from Doctor Who? Oh, oh no, it's Mr. Hall, isn't it? Uh -huh. I'm so sorry. Nice to bow, Thank you very much indeed. Come for a fitting, have you? Yes, I've been sent up by the producer. I'm not surprised, Duncan. <laughs> Oh, he's got an acid tongue, is that Ned? You can say that again. Oh, mm -hmm. he's got an acid tongue, Ned. Oh, he did. <laughs> what, uh... What, uh... And where was I? Yes. What show... <laughs> Get it away there. What show are you doing, Mr Horn? You come for Sweevy La Piste? Well, not... <laughs> no, but if you've got the kettle on, I don't... Uh... Oh, he's bold! Oh. <laughs> and cheeky with it. Yeah. What, uh, what sort of programme are you doing then, Mr. Well, Hall? it's an interview programme. You're not on Owe Me Alive. Oh, of course he's not. He's much more your Vada of the Week, aren't you, Mr. Hall? Well, to be honest, you know, I'm not quite sure. They just said report to Studio 6. Well, let's see what's on the schedule. Look up your call sheet, Jewel. Eh? Hey? <laughs> oh, yes. Yeah, let's have a Vada. <laughs> well, he's not a black and white minstrel. And he's sure. not one of your likely lads. No. <laughs> quite the reverse. Most unlikely. No. <laughs> he wouldn't be on Varda with Mother. No, he's more your Varda with Granny. Isn't he? <laughs> oh, dear. What if he's the BBC Two? What Cosy did they say? Well, <laughs> Cosy? Uh, oh, yes, yes, yes. They, they said a dinner suit. Oh, sorry, Ducky. Dinner suit's out. That's out. Out? Yes, the Director General's wearing it. Yeah. <laughs> and I hope he do not put his hand in the trouser pocket. Why? Oh. Channing Pollock had it on last. Oh. Yeah, you know, that one that produces the dubs from the most unlikely place. Yeah. <laughs> now, just wait a minute, Mark. Uh, do, do you mean the BBC has got, only got one dinner jacket? Yes, it's part of the economy drive. They all wear it. Eric Robinson, Ronnie Corbett. Not at the same time, of course. I don't know, though. You can't tell. <laughs> Ronnie could be in there somewhere. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Usually <laughs> is. <laughs> Anyway, it's out. No, most of our stuff's out. Uh, let's look up through the wardrobe and see if we can find you some boner dress. Yeah, yeah. What about this? What about this very sheesh? Oh, yes. Only been worn once. By Cathy Kirby. You've got much the same measurement. Much. <laughs> Distributed differently, yeah. of course. No, uh, I think not. Well, it's either that or this outfit, as worn by Jimmy Savile. And of the two, I'd rather have Cathy Kirby's. Yeah. Well, now you'll want your baubles to baubles, go with it. Yes. You see? And this wig. Your wig. You see, a few jobs of makeup there. Yes, oh, well, look at pictures, oh, isn't he? Yeah. Yeah. Oh. Yes, of the sort you buy in Tangier. Mm. Well, um, <laughs> it's too late to do anything about it. Yes, well, off you troll then. Bonalar. Bonalar, bonalar. 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 Don't worry, you'll be fantabulous. <laughs> Yeah, did he say Studio 6? Yes, why? Well, we'll certainly make an impression on the viewers. Why? Well, it's reading the epilogue. <gasps> <laughs>